So is that the range of the following molecules and according to their dispersion forces. So a lot of questions in terms of uh, intermolecular forces, which is always kind of uh, the conceptual part of chemistry, which, um, which, why, which is why we get a lot of students asking these questions here. So uh, we want strength, uh, so we want largest dispersion of forces. Forces to smallest. And then what we have here is uh, arrange these six, right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let me just draw this out first. So I have, uh, let me do some blue. So I have CH3. CH3. CH, CH3. C, CH3. 2, CH2. CH3. And then I have CH3. 2, CH2. And then a 4 here. CH2, CH3. Three C C H three two C H three get very very mundane here. Um, C H three C H two C H three and C H four. Okay, so this actually is that the the way that they actually looked at this problem here, they actually solved this problem for us already. And basically, when we talk about dispersion for forces, when we talk about London dispersion specifically, we're talking about the weak electrostatic forces that exist between uh, these uh, molecules here. And basically, the rule is the bigger the compound, the greater the dispersion forces. So as you can see, this one is the greatest. Um, greatest uh, dispersion of forces because it has the most carbon simply, right? I count the carbons. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons in this one. I have one, two, I have six, seven, eight. So this here, these two would be kind of tied for largest dispersion. However, this one's bonded to uh, more, more things here. So this one, in terms of the branch alkyl groups, so this one would actually have the greatest uh, dispersion of forces here. I have one, two, three, four, five, three here, and one here, right? So this here, again, is going down, and this here would have the smallest dispersion forces. This one would have the greatest dispersion forces. So they actually answered their own question, which is kind of um, odd, but that's totally fine. Um, but we, we, but the concept here is that dispersion forces basically are greater when there's a bigger carbon molecule, and then uh, for a smaller or a bit large, longest, longer chain, sorry, not bigger carbon molecule, but longer chain of a carbon, a longer, a longer carbon chain would result in a larger dispersion force. So again, these, uh, this, this student gave us a uh, kind of <coughs> a definition of, um, of, uh, of the uh, uh, dispersion force here. Um, so let's see what they have here. Yeah, so this one, uh, so this, uh, this student basically answered their own question. And then this here, actually, they actually flipped the first two of these guys here. So, uh, so what I said about the alkyl, alkyl, alkyl chains here, the longer the alkyl chain, the greater the dispersion force is. However, this one has a branched alkyl chain, right? So if I, if I were to draw out number one out, like, like they did here, um, this one has kind of a methyl group here and a dimethyl group on this carbon here. This one would actually have slightly, and when I say slightly, it's like one or two kilojoules per mole, like very, very slightly lower dispersion forces than a, um, than a longer chain, longer, longer chain here. Just because, again, um, branching here, again, branching here is uh, inversely proportional to dispersion forces. So when we talk about, when we really want to rank them here, this one would be uh, the highest one here. This is the highest one here, the second highest, and then finally three, four, and then five here. Am I missing, a, I'm missing one? I have six here. CH3, CH2, CH3. I am missing one here, but that's okay. This one here basically just goes in between here, so that's not the, the yeah that the that's not the point of the question, but it's fine. Um, I missed it, so sorry about that. But um, basically, it's t it's telling us here branching basically causes um slightly less dispersion forces than if I had a longest chain here. So again, this solution here is correct.
range solution and analysis. So again, just basically the main takeaway is the longer the chain here, the uh, the greater the uh, dispersion forces and branched alkyl groups actually make it slightly uh, uh, slightly less dispersion forces, so slightly smaller.